Antarctica, climate, vegetation, wildlife and natural resources. Antarctica, coldest of all continents, has very little variations in climate. Essentially round, it is circled by a uniform expanse of ocean over which the westerly winds blow for most of the year. Icy winds make it even colder. In winters, lasting from May through August, the average temperature is minus 70 degrees Celsius in the interior and minus 30 degrees Celsius at the coast. Lowest temperature of minus 90 degrees Celsius was recorded at Vostok Station on July 21, 1983. Summer months last from December to February and the average temperature is minus 35 degrees Celsius in the interior and 2 degree at the coast. The difference between the summer and winter temperatures is distinct. Because of a continuous period of sunlight experienced in summer and a similar period of darkness in winter, there is also a great difference between the temperatures in the coastal areas and at the center of the ice cap. Most of the Antarctica is dry as the interior receives an average rainfall of about 5 centimeters. The coasts are moister with an annual rain and snowfall averaging 60 centimeters. Antarctica is a cold desert. Whiteout, a phenomenon in Antarctica, occurs when there is a uniformly cloudy sky over snow covered terrain. Travelers can experience loss of perception as there are no shadows or contrasts between objects. It becomes difficult to differentiate between a small object nearby and a large object far away. Even birds and aircraft pilots find it difficult to see snow surface while flying. Due to harsh climate and ice-covered land, very few plants grow in Antarctica. Most common plants found here are mosses and lichens. These plants cling to rocky areas, mostly along the coast. Places where the temperatures are milder, some clumps of coarse grass and flowering plants are found. Like scarce vegetation, only few insects and some tiny animals are found in Antarctica. The largest land animal here is the wingless midge called Belgica Antarctica, which is only about 2 centimeters long. Most land animals live along the edges of the continent, which has relatively milder temperatures. The ocean has plenty of wildlife. Many warm-blooded animals live in the waters along the coast. Penguins often synonymous with Antarctica, are skillful swimmers. The Adelie penguins are the most common of these flightless birds. Among the several kinds of whales found here, the blue whale is the largest animal that has ever lived. Also various kinds of seals live here. The most common ocean animal is a small shrimp-like creature called krill, which feeds on tiny floating plants. Many other Antarctic animals depend on krill for food. The squid, a soft boneless sea animal found here, is also eaten by many Antarctic animals. More than 40 kinds of flying birds spend summer in Antarctica. They nest on land, but spend most of their time diving for food. These birds include the gulls and squaws. The albatross, known for its big-sized wings, is another bird found in the Antarctica. Other birds found here are terns, petrels and cape pigeons. 
Penguins are flightless birds that are very good swimmers. They have flippers instead of fins. The emperor penguin can survive cold better than any other animal. They huddle together in large colonies to keep warm, thus reducing their heat loss by 50%. Eggs are laid in the dead of winter so that the chicks mature in summer months. Places where they lay eggs and raise their young ones are known as rookeries. Penguins are good parents and protect their babies till they can take care of themselves. The fluffy down feathers of the penguins are packed close together that trap the warm air keeping them warm. Their feathers also have oily tips to keep seawater out. The nasal chambers in the beak recover heat that would be given out during breathing. Scientists believe that beneath the vast sheet of ice and snow, there are deposits of oil, coal, diamonds, gold and silver. But the challenge faced is to mine and ship them at a reasonable cost without damaging the environment. Antarctica's mineral resources have hardly been developed as the thick sheets of ice, severe cold and icy winds make it difficult to explore and mine. Icebergs, rough waves and strong winds hamper drilling operations at sea. Other resource abound in the seas around the continent is the minute krill. Regarded as a good source of protein, the krill is expensive to catch and process.